so basically there are six steps in perceptual process and you explain one by one so you state all the six first or you specify first and you explain you give one definition of organization behavior and meaning also then what you do is first you explain the different personal factors so team dynamics it is a question from the second chapter you explain you given meaning and introduction and definition of team dynamics hello everyone this is purna chandra faculty department of commerce and management vidyashram the temple of excellence so today we will be discussing the model paper for the subject organizational behavior for third sem bba so it will be the model question paper so basically what i'll be doing is i'll be teaching you people how to write and how to answer the questions and also i'll be discussing certain important questions in 15 marks 10 marks and 2 marks so we will start so first we will start with 15 marks so before we start with 15 marks basically there will be three parts part a part b and part c so part a it is of 2 marks questions seven questions will be asked out of which you have to write five so part a is for 10 marks 2 marks into five questions so now coming to part b they will ask four questions of 10 marks each out of which you have to write two that is 2 into 10 so it is 20 marks is allotted for part b and part c also 15 marks four questions they are going to ask out of which you have to write any two so 15 into 2 30 marks so in total 30 marks from part c 20 marks from part b and 10 marks from part a so the total is 60 so this is the question paper pattern so first we will discuss the important questions in part c one by one so in part c so it is for 15 marks the main question or important question which you can expect is explain the process and factors influencing perception so this is from the first chapter so how do you write this so first you give one definition of what is perception then you give a uh, introduction to perceptual process so basically there are six steps in perceptual process and you explain one by one so you state all the six first or you specify first and you explain so here receiving stimuli selecting stimuli perceptual organization process of interpreting process of checking and process of reacting as the definition is there in the notes you explain so after you explain the process then you go for factors affecting perception so here there are three main factors that is factors in the perceiver factors in the target factors in the situation so all these things have got different things inside them so you have to explain everything so writing in this format will fetch you 15 marks so make sure that you cover three sides of your minimum three sides of your booklet so this is regarding the first question so second question for 15 marks explain the factors which determine individual behavior that is there are two factors that is personal factors and environmental factors so how do you write this question so here you give one definition of organization behavior and meaning also then what you do is first you explain the different personal factors after explaining personal factors you explain the environmental factors as i have given in the notes so this is how you write this question so next explain the types of groups and stages of group development so this is also an important 15 mark question which you can expect so how do you write this so here first you give the meaning and also definition of group dynamics what is group dynamics then different types of groups that is formal groups informal groups open group closed group in group out group different things which i have given in the notes you explain then you write the stages of group development that is forming storming norming performing and adjourning five different stages you explain this is regarding this question so next the fourth question explain the importance nature and theory of plant chain this is from your third unit so here you explain you give one definition of what is plant change then you explain the importance after you explain the importance you explain the nature and theories there are two theories that is your 
Kurt Levin's model and also your action research model you explain. So this is also an important question from unit 3. So next, this is how you write it. So you give the meaning of plant change, importance of plant change, nature of plant change and theories of plant change. Kurt Levin's model that is you are unfreezing, changing and refreezing. Then your action research model that is diagnosing, analyzing, coming out with action plans, taking actions and evaluating. So all these things you write. So this is for 15 marks. Next, what is organization development? Explain the process and nature of organization development. That is you give the meaning of OD. Then there are seven different steps in OD process. So you explain that. And also what nature is specified in the notes, you write for 15 marks. This is the meaning. So coming to the next question that is, what is OD intervention? And explain the various types of OD interventions. So here in this question, what you have to do is, you give the definition of what is OD intervention and there are four types of OD interventions. That is human process intervention and second one is your strategic intervention, techno-structural intervention and human resource management interventions. All four you have to write. Next, now we get into the 10 mark section that is part B. So here, explain perceptual errors and describe briefly the methods of managing perception. Explain the importance of OB. So this can be asked for 10 as well as 15 but you can expect this for 10. How do you write this? So here, you give the meaning of perception and the perceptual errors as I have given in the notes. Next, methods of managing perception that is how you can manage with these errors that come out of perception you explain and importance of OB can also be asked along with this. So all these things you make sure you write minimum two sides of your booklet. So this is regarding this question. So next, explain the nature determinants and traits of personality. So here what you do, you give one definition and meaning of personality, then you explain the nature which is specified in the notes and determinants of personality. There are different determinants like situation, socialization, process, your environment, heredity, etc. So you describe everything, then traits of personality. So there are five different traits of personality like agreeableness, extraversion, introversion, conscientiousness. Likewise, you explain all the traits. So this you can expect for 10 marks as well as 15. So here I have given it in 10 marks. So next question, what is team dynamics? Explain the various types of teams. So team dynamics, it is a question from the second chapter. You explain, you given meaning and introduction and definition of team dynamics. Later on, you explain various types of teams, problem solving teams, management teams, virtual teams, etc. So this is regarding this question. So next, this is how you write that various types of teams. So next, explain the sources of conflicts and bring out the different ways to resolve conflicts. So conflicts is any misunderstanding inside the organization. So you give one definition of conflicts and you explain what are the sources of conflicts? So for what purpose conflicts occurs inside the organization? Then after that, bring out the different ways to resolve conflicts. How you can deal with those conflicts and set things right. This is the meaning. So next question. Explain the factors influencing change. Explain the resistance to change and how to overcome resistance to change. So first you give the meaning of plant change. Then you explain the different factors that is involved in change. Then obviously when change is brought about in an organization or when the management plans to bring a change, there will be resistance. There will be resistance to change and how to overcome it. So everything is specified in the notes. You refer the notes and you write this. This is the meaning. So next we go for important two mark questions which you can expect. So here, what is group dynamics from chapter 2, you can expect what is conflict and what is entering and contracting also you can expect what is diagnosing and your human process intervention, your techno structural intervention, human resource management intervention, strategic change intervention. So all these 
you can expect for two marks on top of it whatever you have studied in your 15 marks and 10 marks like what is personality what is perception what is organization behavior what is team dynamics what is group dynamics and what is plan change what is od intervention or what is od so anything can be asked for two marks so these are the important things which you have to study so with this we have discussed the model paper along with the important questions so hope you people are clear with it thank you